There are few places in our solar system as mysterious as Jupiter. Recent advances in space observations have unlocked the amazing secrets of this colossal gas giant, buffeted by endless storms and cyclones. Today, we're going to talk about some of the recent discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope and NASA's Juno mission, a world where storms have raged for more than three centuries, where winds penetrate in the most intricate and unexpected ways, and where the largest vortex in our solar system may not be as old as we thought. These discoveries offer a glimpse into Jupiter's complex and dynamic atmosphere. Join us to learn about discoveries that are rewriting the history and understanding of this majestic planet. Let's start with the fact that the James Webb Space Telescope recently discovered unexpected and intriguing shapes above Jupiter's Great Red Spot, a storm that's been raging for more than three centuries. These previously unseen structures, observed with the Near Infrared Spectrograph instrument, have captured the scientific community's attention by revealing the complexity and dynamism of Jupiter's upper atmosphere. At first glance, the atmosphere above the Great Red Spot may seem unremarkable, but the sensitive infrared capabilities of JUST have shown otherwise. Scientists have detected complex patterns, including dark arcs and bright spots, that challenge our previous assumptions. These features are likely caused by a powerful atmospheric gravity wave, a phenomenon in which waves generated in Jupiter's turbulent lower atmosphere propagate upward, altering the structure and radiation of the upper layers. Atmospheric gravity waves are something akin to waves on Earth's beaches, which can create ripples in the sand, but they are much more intense on Jupiter. They shape the gas giant's upper atmosphere in ways we're only beginning to understand. The tremendous energy and turbulence of the Great Red Spot generate these waves, which then travel upward, affecting the dynamics of the atmosphere. Juiced observations have shown that the atmospheric structures over the Great Red Spot consist of different heights, with some regions emitting more infrared light due to the presence of hydrogen in Jupiter's ionosphere. This differentiation in heights and emission is a direct result of the influence of gravitational waves. The region above the Great Red Spot is where Jupiter's lower atmosphere meets its magnetic field, much like Earth's atmosphere meets the solar wind, resulting in spectacular auroras on Jupiter. This interaction is further complicated by volcanic material from Io, the most volcanically active body in our solar system. These materials combine with charged particles from the Sun, Jupiterian auroras are fueled and contribute to the complex atmospheric dynamics that we observe. Further study of these gravitational waves is expected to provide a deeper understanding of the energy distribution across Jupiter and enhance our understanding of its atmospheric processes. Future missions, such as the European Space Agency's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer Juice, will build on these findings. Launched in 2023, JUICE should reach Jupiter by 2031, where it will make detailed observations of the planet and its ocean-bearing moons. Another ongoing mission, NASA's Juno mission, has made another groundbreaking discovery Jupiter's atmospheric winds permeate the planet in cylindrical layers aligned with the axis of rotation. This discovery changes our understanding of the atmosphere and internal structure of the gas giant disproving long-held assumptions and providing new insights into the dynamics of planetary atmospheres. By analyzing data from the spacecraft's radio signals, scientists measure minute changes in Juno's speed as it orbits Jupiter. These changes, influenced by fluctuations in Jupiter's gravitational field, allow researchers to peer beneath the planet's turbulent cloud cover. Using high-precision measurements, scientists applied a mathematical method commonly used for rocky planets to model Jupiter's gravitational fluctuations. This innovative approach increased the resolution by a factor of four over previous models and provided a detailed view of Jupiter's atmospheric winds. The study shows that Jupiter's powerful east-west zonal winds, observed in the planet's colorful belts and zones, do not propagate radially in all directions. Instead, they penetrate in cylindrical layers parallel to Jupiter's axis of rotation. The cylindrical nature of the winds was confirmed by comparing 40 gravity coefficients measured by Juno with theoretical models. 
This discovery marks a significant advance in our understanding of the atmospheric dynamics of Jupiter and similar planets. The cylindrical structure of the wind suggests a more complex interaction between the deep atmosphere and internal planetary processes. Unlike Earth's zonal flows, which are influenced by surface and topography, Jupiter's winds extend deep into its interior, unaffected by solid boundaries. These winds reach a depth of about 1,860 miles beneath the cloud tops, much deeper than previously thought. This has profound implications for our understanding of the gas giant's internal structure and the distribution of energy within the planet. But let's get back to Joost, whose news flow never ceases. The telescope has once again revealed unprecedented details about Jupiter's atmosphere. This time, researchers have detected a high-speed jet stream passing over Jupiter's equator, above the main cloud decks. This jet stream, more than 3,000 miles wide, again updates our understanding of the complex dynamics of the planet's atmospheric layers. Twice the speed of a Category 5 hurricane on Earth. The discovery sheds light on how Jupiter's atmospheric layers interact, revealing the complexity of the gas giant's weather systems. Jupiter, like Earth, has a multi-layered atmosphere. However, the dynamics of the gas giant's atmosphere are much more intense. The newly discovered jet stream is located in Jupiter's lower stratosphere, just above the tropospheric haze. This position allows it to influence the weather patterns and cloud formations we observe in the equatorial region of the planet. By capturing images in the near-infrared wavelength range, JUST can observe altitudinal layers with surprising clarity. These observations revealed several wind shears areas where wind speed changes with altitude or distance that allowed researchers to track the motion of the jet stream. The JUICE data, taken at 10-hour intervals one Jupiterian day, provided a detailed snapshot of atmospheric changes. Additional Hubble Space Telescope observations, taken one day after the data from JUICE, played a crucial role in determining the baseline of a Jupiter's equatorial atmosphere. While Hubble's observations focused on the lower layers, JUICE's near-infrared capabilities provided a detailed look at high-altitude features. This dual perspective allowed scientists to measure how wind speeds change with altitude and reveal the presence of significant shifts. The detection of the jet stream was unexpected, as previous observations by ground-based telescopes and missions like Juno and Cassini had not revealed such detailed features. The researchers intend to continue observing Jupiter with JUICE to determine if the speed and height of the jet stream change over time. Lee Fletcher of the University of Leicester suggests that the strength of the new jet may be related to variations in the planet's stratosphere and could change significantly over the next few years. This ongoing study may reveal more information about the cyclical dynamics of the gas giant's atmosphere. Jupiter's Great Red Spot, the largest and oldest known storm in the solar system, has long been a subject of fascination and mystery. Recently, new theories have emerged that challenge our understanding of this iconic atmospheric formation, suggesting that the great red spot we see today may not be the same storm observed centuries ago. In 1665, Italian astronomer Giovanni Cassini recorded a giant dark spot on Jupiter, which he called the permanent spot. This feature, perhaps first noted by English scientist Robert Hooke in 1664, disappeared from observations by 1713. For many years, astronomers believed that the permanent spot was the same as the modern Great Red Spot, first observed in 1831 at the same latitude. However, a recent study led by Auguste N. S. Enches La Vega of the University of the Basque Country suggests otherwise. After analyzing the size and movement of these vortices over time, the researchers concluded that it is highly unlikely that the current Great Red Spot is the same as Cassini's permanent spot. Most likely, the original storm disappeared between the mid-18th and 19th centuries, making the current Great Red Spot a younger formation with a lifespan of more than 190 years. Using historical data, as Enches La Vega and his team performed computer modeling to figure out how the Great Red Spot might have formed. 
The leading theory is that wind instability in Jupiter's atmosphere created the elongated atmospheric cell we see today. This process involves a complex interaction between the planet's high-speed winds and the dynamics of its atmosphere. One of the most significant observations of the Great Red Spot is its constant shrinking. In 1879, the size of the spot was about 24,200 miles along its longest axis. Today, it is only 8,700 miles long. This dramatic decrease in size raises questions about the storm's future. Will the Great Red Spot eventually disappear, as Cassini's permanent spot did? The research team plans to conduct further modeling to predict the fate of the Great Red Spot. These models will help scientists understand whether the storm will eventually dissipate and, if so, whether a new vortex could form in its place, continuing the cycle observed over centuries. The study of the Great Red Spot not only deepens our knowledge of Jupiter, but also provides insight into the behavior of large-scale vortices on other gas giants and even exoplanets. This new perspective highlights the importance of continuous observations and advanced modeling in unlocking the mysteries of our universe. Despite the vast differences between Jupiter and Earth, the dynamics of their atmospheres and oceans reveal surprising similarities. Recent research by physical oceanographer Leah Siegelman has shown that Jupiter's gas cyclones mirror the behavior of oceanic structures on Earth, offering new insights into the underlying mechanisms that govern these powerful systems. Jupiter's atmosphere, often described as an ocean of gas, exhibits cyclonic activity driven by convection, similar to storms on Earth. Convection is the process by which heat is transferred through fluid motion, and it plays an important role in both terrestrial and Jupiterian weather systems. On Earth, convection occurs in both the atmosphere and oceans, creating storm fronts and ocean currents. A study by Siegelman, who analyzed data from NASA's Juno spacecraft, has identified filaments wispy tendrils between Jupiter's vortices. They behave similarly to fronts in Earth's oceans and atmospheres. These fronts, characterized by boundaries between masses of different densities, are crucial to the generation of strong winds and currents on Earth. These density differences are usually due to variations in temperature and salinity, whereas on Jupiter, they arise from temperature differences in the gaseous layers. By calculating the horizontal and vertical wind speeds of these filaments from infrared images, Team Siegelman confirmed that they contribute significantly to the energy dynamics of Jupiter's cyclones. These filaments help transfer thermal energy from the planet's interior to its upper atmosphere, which accounts for a significant portion of the cyclone's total kinetic energy and vertical heat transport. The presence of convection and fronts on both Earth and Jupiter suggests that these physical mechanisms are fundamental to turbulent fluid. Bodies throughout the universe this finding implies that similar processes may exist on other planets with atmospheres or fluid layers, expanding our understanding of planetary science. The comparison of Jupiter's gas cyclones with Earth's oceanic structures provides a basis for the study of other celestial bodies. The ability to draw parallels between such different environments emphasizes the universality of certain physical principles regardless of specific conditions. The advances in our understanding of Jupiter, provided by the Joost and Juno discoveries, not only expand our knowledge of the planet, but also set new standards for what can be achieved with advanced space telescopes and probes. High-resolution images and detailed data have revealed previously unseen structures and dynamics in Jupiter's atmosphere. These discoveries pave the way for future missions and exploration. Planned missions, such as the European Space Agency's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, will delve deeper into the Jupiter system, focusing on its moons Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa. The purpose of these missions is to explore the potential habitability of these moons and further unravel the mysteries of Jupiter's atmosphere. Future space telescopes and probes will have more advanced sensors, enhanced data processing capabilities, and more sophisticated observational techniques, enabling even more detailed and comprehensive studies of distant planets and their atmospheres. 
By continuing to study the features of this gas giant and its similarities to our home planet, scientists will be able to better predict and model the behavior of the atmospheres of other planets, which, of course, will expand our knowledge of the cosmos and subsequently help in the search for habitable worlds. The journey is just beginning, so stay tuned as we continue to bring you the latest news and discoveries. There is a phenomenon in the field of astronomy that has intrigued and puzzled scientists for years hidden.